by the Empire of Japan. Yep. And finally at the end he says, we will win the inevitable victory, so help us God. He didn't really mean it, but it's, that's what he said. Yeah. And uh, so they did. So they had a great opportunity. 1945, they was a colonial power, the Philippine colonies, nobody remember those. I do remember it because the books still, when I was younger, they referred to the Philippines as the Philippine colonies, you know, although they were liberated in 1946. And the Philippines did all that guerrilla warfare, but they never paid them until up in the 90s or something, everybody's dead. They paid a few people, you know, for all that war effort. Yeah. See, a lot of people didn't surrender at Corregidor and all that stuff. Some went out into the jungle, and it was all the Philippines. And the Philippines was stolen from the Spanish and... Uh, Philippines was well known during the war uh, early parts with America wrapping themselves so tight with bandages, even the non-believers know about it. I was at one bank and ladies, she said, did you know that the Muslims wrapped themselves? I said, yeah. So when they got shot, you know, the 45 automatic, 1911, that's where it came from. They brought it out for the Filipinos they would wrap themselves so tight, bandage-like, that the blood wouldn't flow. And you know what I mean? They wouldn't, everything would stay in place. For so long, they would have chance to kill the people who shot them. So that old 45, that old six-shooter, they got rid of it and brought in the 45 automatic, the 1911 one. Okay, there's a few things that uh, uh, da, 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 da. just a few little reminders. Uh, does anybody remember this right here? This might be 20 something years, 20, no. 19 years ago, how to think, act, and believe, yeah, after 9-11. Okay, anybody that has this as you read through it, if you don't have it, I'll copy some and pass some out later. But this was a guidance for the people we refer to as of September 11th, uh, 2001. Let it be known that a state of open warfare exists between the United Forces of Kufr on one side, led by the bandit election stealing president of the United States, who, who follows in the footsteps of his father, also ex president and ex CIA chief George Bush, and a sincere, truth loving Muslim. That's us, that's who's the war. Uh, <laughs> you know Osama bin Laden and all those. Uh, the USA has, has elevated too long, low intensity. This was a good article. Let's say this article is 19 or 20 years. This is outlining to the believers at that time how to think and believe after 9-11. Did anybody read this one? Yeah. It made sense. Then there's others. That stuff, you know. So we've been, uh, we've been busy. A lot of people would not 
that haven't been here a long time would not understand how active this masjid was. Demonstration, school open every day, da 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 da. The Eid's the best in the city, probably. Well, it's not probably, it seems like that to me. I don't know. Hey, man, good old home cooked food like that. Shh. The people I know, their wives wasn't cooking. Even if they could, they wasn't cooking. That that food was good. We, uh, you know. Hey, no, it was, uh, there was a special environment. Okay, you got to remember now, at that time, we're manipulating the environment. We know what we're into. We know when they get the word, they're going to all go. Because that's the third or fourth quarter that's been happening all along. Uh, you know, that's the, the, the process. So we just... Uh, Let's say we're playing it for what, how it works, you know. That's why they did so much stupid stuff in Oakland. They feel like that we tricked them and we bought all that other property and they did all the property here, we bought it. Some of the property there, they helped buy it with our help from here. So that's why they behave like they do. And they thought Abdul Malik had made a mistake by just writing a letter of resignation and then leaving. And Mukhtar actually said it. You know, they, he called him, he's just, a, he's a punk, you know what I mean? That's what Mukhtar was saying, although he's is a leader. But anyway, so that's why he come on like he's hard and all that stuff. <laughs> he ain't hard, that boy is crazy. You know, I might have saw something, might have been something last night, a, a, a phone call or two, first time in over a month, two, three months. I think it might have been. It it didn't say them, but it uh, it might be. It don't make no difference. All I can say is we're going to follow this so this is what we're going going over: environmental scanning, envir, and you know, scan what we're doing right here, what we've been doing. You know, scan it, mental notates, and then our new strategy will evolve out of what what it is for today. So instead of jumping from where we was to right where we was headed the other day. Hold it. Let's go back and go through our regular procedure. Okay. So environmental scanning. That's what we're doing now. What have we seen? What have we observed? What have we learned? Then the strategy, which this will be done by the end of the month or just into the end of the first of the year. Something like that. It's not... It's, it's not a long process. We'll be doing this on Okay. And then when we wind up with evaluation and control, at the end of this research period, we're going back to uh, our plan, what we have for this period. Technically, we have most of it gelled already, but we have to do it by procedure. If the procedure did not worked, stick with it. it. It might be some blessings in it that uh, we might have missed. Okay. Okay, and therefore... Uh, we talked about... Uh, All of our da -da 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 -da. okay. Shadow team. 
global specialist. I'll mention that later. I think it's a little too complicated right now. Shadow team. But basically, some, somebody's on our side. I mean, physically and materialists on our side. Allah got us covered, so we're just home free. But there's also And boss man, he's got a habit. Oh, I just finished running over there. Oh, well, strolling up there. And is, is somebody going to park, park till I leave. Somebody going to go through the woods. Somebody. I said, okay, if I picked this stuff up 50 years ago, what the hell they think I'm going to do now? I'm going to, you know. They're not... Uh, I'm going to have somebody watching them. And they're not going to know how I'm doing it. They're not going to know how I'm doing it. That's, they're just not going to know. Because they're slow. They can't prevent, just imagine, they think, well, if we stand behind the mailbox and peek and let him know we always there. He'll be too scared to do anything. He'll be paranoid. That's not true. That's not true. All we got to do is study his patterns, study, study, study. And boss man got blind spots. I think I mentioned those years ago. Blind spots? Who don't have them? Uh, in psychological, they call it uh, scotomas. A scotoma. You know the psychological picture they have you look at and one, if you have one vision, you see the old lady and the other one, if you see the young lady, they used to do that when I was, okay, you know, okay. It's a psychological, when they take psychological, when they do them dots and stuff, then they ask you, what do you see? You know, okay. The uh, white man is tricky. So they start showing me those pictures before I knew what they was doing. I, oh, that's, 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 that's. So by the time I got grown, I said, they got the niggas pattern, you know, from way back. I remember when I went to the federal penitentiary, they had a test that would have 500 uh, Questions on it. You go to the federal penitentiary, everybody takes a test. So I just handed it in. But then the counselor called me and he said, uh, either you're crazy or you wasn't paying no attention to the test. So I told him, I said, you think I'm going to write down anything for you to do? What's your favorite sport? None of your business. I'm at Leavenworth, and the guy in the shoe shop, he, you know, they make shoes at Leavenworth. This guy hid himself in a big shoe box, and the train comes into the penitentiary. Then they load it up. And, I mean, they park it in the penitentiary. Because one time, it's a big spot in the wall that they made a new wall where they tried to run the train through the wall. Yeah, I mean... It evidently went through the wall because there's a big patch at, in the, the old time wall in Leavenworth. Anyway, so who do you love the most? Oh, my girlfriend. Where the hell does she live? Well, she lives over here on Sunnyside. Drip, drip, drip. Da, 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 da. What's your favorite sport? Baseball. And I sit back and watch. And a guy run off from the federal pen and they go to the baseball game and sit there. Right? They had the feds watch the major, right? And they, he, he come. Why? Because he wrote baseball. I love it. I just love baseball. And even if, if I'm on the run and I cool down for an hour or two, I'm going to a baseball game. And they right there waiting on it. And he wrote it down there for him. I told the white folks. And so that's why 
No, they had they had me down when I was a youngster and didn't know no better. You know, I first went to jail at eight years old, and they showed me them little pictures. Yeah, I was, I was eight years old. Go to the juvenile hall. Here I eight or nine. So yeah, definitely. I got sent up when I was twelve. I had to be eight or ten, something like that. But I got sent to the penitentiary, the kitty penitentiary, when I was 12. I mean, I got sent up and everything. Uh, again, at 14, I'm lucky. I did all my time when I was younger. When I was an adult, I, didn't, I haven't done that much time. I mean, it's a lot of time. It ain't a lot of time. You do a four or five year sentence. But the feds be giving out life. I mean, you got to do... It's unbelievable. If they get.